Oh, crappy. Hello. Welcome back to Tang and Rampa V3. If my voice sounds crappy, it's because it is. And everything's crappy too. In our world right now, Kimiko has just been trapped in what we think is the Mastermind's room. We met Mother Monokuma. That was, that was interesting. We're running out of time now. Now I don't know what to do. The hidden door has been blocked by the rubble. We can't get in or out. I think we're, I think we're in some deep doo doo here. And I think I'm gonna have to remember to talk about my thoughts on this kind of scene instead of when the timer is running out uh, because I'm a moron, you see. But I've got some thoughts about that last one. So in the last one, we went into the black and white door. We found Mother Monokuma and what looked like to be the Mastermind's room. And we found some interesting things in there, namely the survivor perk from Rantaro that was covered in blood and also a shot put ball in the trash can that had pink fibers on it. Here's my thoughts right now and I don't want anyone to say anything because usually my thoughts are a little bit misguided. So it's obviously got something to do with Kaede. Remember when they said that she had a twin sister and I'm like, they're not gonna do that shit again, are they? Like there's, come on. I know Danganronpa is famous for like reusing stuff, right? But they weren't, they're not gonna do that, right? Dude, but what if? Or, or what if someone's cosplaying as her? D I, I, I had this revelation right when I shut off the game last time and I literally made the most unholy noise ever. And I, I, I just want everyone to marinate on that. Could it be? I, I just want everyone to marinate while I marinate. Because I, I can't take anything for granted in this game. I can't take my ideas for granted or anything. Uh, okay. Yeah, Himiko's trapped, Samugi. That's a real good, ex that's a real good observation. Yeah, we're in trouble. Kibo. Kibo, can you do something? Yeah, Kibo's here. Maybe he can get her free. Hmm. I can destroy the debris, but without knowing Himiko's status, it could be dangerous for me to just recklessly attack it. Stop it! Then are you saying we should just leave her there? You can't! I couldn't do such a thing. We're friends. But... God, I hope that's true, Samuge. I hope that's true, Samuge. I hope, I hope that's true. But I'm not strong enough to lift the debris. Then... Let's use the Exosol. Huh? Huh? What? Use the Exosol? How? That's impossible! We don't have any more of Miyu's inventions, and the Monocubs are in the Exosol- That's wrong! Exactly. We're gonna get Monokuma and the Monocubs to do it. Incomprehensible. Monokuma and the Monocubs? Remember. They don't want this either. Their objective is to continue the killing game. Please wait. Are you suggesting that we surrender to them and continue the killing game? Stop! But Himiko's in danger. Rescuing her should be our first- No. No. We're going to end this killing game. Um... What do you mean? Do you have a plan of some sort? Okay. Oh, Shuichi's always got plans, doesn't he? Yes, I do. It just requires a little bit of detective work. We need to investigate some more. What? Well, well, what about Himiko? That's... I'm worried about her, but we have to trust that she's okay right now. We trusted her when she said to leave everything to her. If we just stand around here, we're not respecting her wishes. That's true, Shuichi. A good guy. Surely she's okay in there, right? I re like, I, I don't want anything to happen to her. <sighs> okay. Himiko's the ultimate magician. I bet she'll use her magic to find a clue in that room, and that's just plain amazing. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure Himiko's okay. God, I hope so. Um, if you're in search of clues, I would investigate the classroom on the second floor. Huh? Really? What? Oh. Oh. You mean the one we started in with Kaede? Okay. Well. Guys, I'm going to do a lot of whispering. Not because it's really for dramatic effect, because I fail at that aspect, but because my voice hurts. I caught a glimpse of something odd there while battling exercise in the courtyard. In the courtyard? How'd you see in there? Is it all blown open? Whatever clue you're looking for may be there. That's something odd. Hey! Hurry! You don't have much time. It's nearly dawn. Yeah, I know. I'll we commit that to my memory bank. We hurry ran out of time once because I'm an idiot. And I'm worried about him. We go, oh, everyone loves her. That's so fantastic that they're becoming friends now. Kibo. What? But you won't change the time limit, will you? Unfortunately. I can't keep evading the Exosol's attacks beyond that time limit. If we don't settle this soon, I'll be destroyed. Yeah, we don't want Kibo to get hurt either. And if that happens, we'll lose the chance to destroy the Ultimate Academy. That would be the worst ending. No. It would be an ending of pure despair. Can't have that. Let's run, Kibo. Hey. Samugi, I'm going to the second floor. Yeah. I don't know if I can get to all of them, but I'll do what I can. I'll see you later. What's Samugi gonna do? What's her plan? I guess she's going to 
see what she can do about the exosols? I have no idea. With confident steps, Samugi ran out of the library. There she goes. Himiko, just a little longer. I'm sorry, darling. Oh, we've got Kibo, we've got a full friendship. <laughs> you have increased your bond. You can move more debris than before. I love moving debris. It's my favorite thing to do. All right, I swear to fuck, if those exosols come at me while I'm just trying to go to the damn second floor, there's gonna be some hella play in here. Hello? It's dark in here. Do not come after me. I don't want none of it. Please. I have very fragile sensibilities, which is why I'm playing Danganronpa in the first place, right? Makes sense. Oh, 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 my god, everything's moving. Right, okay, so... I'm just gonna run through. Run, 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 get up inside. Don't wanna get caught by anyone. It should be right just over here, but there's probably gonna be an excess all up here, right? Probably. Um... Hello? Oh, hello! Mr. Obama. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Who even- Does anyone even use that meme anywhere? Don't worry, guys. I'm only 10 years behind the times. I'll catch up one day. Oh, it takes a lot to break these apart. Okay, there's probably gonna be someone right here as I come around, right? Hello? Hello? No? No? Okay, which classroom? Is it this one? Hmm. Oh, the one in the back. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'm sorry that I didn't realize which classroom it was. So sorry. It was one of them. This is the one, I believe, that we woke up in. Oh, look, yeah, it's been completely blown open. Also, damn, someone was playing some Jenga in here. Kibo said he saw something odd while fighting in the courtyard. Well, I, it's probably this. I should be able to see the entire courtyard from here. Okay. This must be what he was talking about. All right, let's see if I can find something. Were all the desks pink before? I don't remember them being, but um, I also forget a lot of things. Oh, the moon looks beautiful tonight. So you actually can't look at these things. You can only look at the locker that we fell out of. The locker seems intact, but I don't think this is what Kibo was talking about. Was it not? Oh, Christ on a cracker. I thought that was it. Um, There's the door, but surely... We came in. Am I am I missing something? We can't we can't go that way anymore. Um I guess the door. This is the room Kibo was talking about. I should investigate here. It might be for the best to just blow up anything in the way. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm dumby. Okay. It probably won't even show up until we've done this, eh? Well, it's been a long time, and I know a lot of people actually yell at me because I don't, I don't slap enough stuff. We gotta slap more stuff. Anything else? Okay, did we unearth what we need? No, is it something... Is it something we can't click on in this... in this form? I don't know. Get rid of everything, perhaps? Oh! A hologram display. It wasn't on before. What is this? Go oh, looks very high tech. I like it. What is this? There's a keyboard floating above the desk. Is it connected to a computer? Hmm. This must be the something odd keyboard was talking about. I'll say. When I touch the keyboard. Yeah. Huh. Whoa. Huh. Jesus Christ! Hello. Huh? Flashback light setup. Oh shit! I don't have a password. Although it's not asking for one, really. Huh? Sorry, I'm taking a sip. Set up? Like settings? Seeking answers, I press the enter key. Oh shit, hello, Game Master. Ultimate talent, ultimate hunt, each motive, class funeral. Recalled memories. Oh, these are the things that we've seen. Okay. Ultimate, can I look at everything? There's no timer on this screen. It seems you're supposed to choose something. I'll scroll through. Oh, he doesn't- he just wants to look at them all first. Class funeral. The world's end in the Gopher Project. Outside world in ruins. The tragedy. Unlocking new memory. Unlocking new memory? Did these settings create new flashback lights? To test my deduction, I selected one of the categories. Does it- anything? I'll pick that one. Select the subject you wish to remember. Uh-oh. So there are still some memories we haven't remembered yet? But... 
If we can remember something new, that would definitely be a clue. All right. Let's try it. Uh-oh. I wonder what kind of memory it is. I'll start with the survivors. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to pick one, and if I was wrong, I'd get in trouble. Let's look at them all if we can. Huh? Hmm? Select the subject you wish to remember? The survivors on a different planet, other survivors in the Ark, there are no sur This is what I was saying. They're fabricated. It's almost like a choose your own adventure story. Does anyone remember those? Perhaps, depending on how everything went, the mastermind could choose any of these depending on what's appropriate for the situation. No. What does it mean by select? These are all memories we forgot. All of these should be true, so why would you have to select one? And these categories. There are several inconsistencies about the survives. That's what I'm saying. Do I have to select the correct one? That's true. I suppose I'll choose the survivors on a different planet. If that's true, there's more hope for us. That's not it though, is it? All right, well. Adjusting to match other memories. Well, this is very, very like, dude. So this is really set up. Like depending on what you picked before, this will adjust to that. It's complicated. Are you sure you wish to remember this memory? The symbol of hope, Hope Speak Academy, the worst incident in human history occurred. With the work of the Future Foundation, the world was rebuilt. But falling meteorites caused an outbreak of unknown virus. The Gopher Project was then executed. 16 high schoolers survived. However, there were survivors on other planets. There were survivors in other ships similar to the Ark. I suppose I meant to select yes here. Uh, um... All right, I'll press it. Uh-oh. Flashback light setup complete. Clunk. Huh? That sound. If I remember correctly... It came from that locker. Oh. Wait, is this not the one that we've come from? Surely we would have noticed all this. If I remember correctly... I'll open it. What's in there now? There it is. Ah! Oh. A flashback light. This is new. It just got here. Uh, um... Just as I suspected, you can make flashback lights with the desk. I don't know why it was hidden in a normal looking classroom. Could we have overlooked this or is it just something you can find now, probably? But there must be a switch hidden somewhere. Flipping that switch will cause this desk to activate. Should we try it? Does that mean everyone's gonna see it or just us? Since it's just a, a singular light, I'm assuming it's just us. I'm sure Kibo saw all of this when the room was destroyed. Oh, perhaps this was locked or something before. I don't remember. But what interests me is exactly how these flashback lights are made. There's only one truth. There should only be one true memory. But this clearly allows you to choose. Why? And there's no indication of which are real. Are none of them real? That could be a thing. Is there more than one truth? What is the truth and what are the lies? Again, I'm thinking Kokichi would know if he was here. Ah, crap. Right at that moment, the classroom door suddenly burst open. Uh-oh. Hello? Whoosh. Oh shit, it's a ghost. Ah. <gasps> Himiko, you're okay. There you are, Shuichi. Himiko! Oh, thank goodness you're alright. Huh? The classroom changed back to normal? Wait, okay, so we haven't seen any of that before. How did that happen? So when the door opens, the classroom reverts back to normal? Oh, I see. I can assume that was done in order to obfuscate the room's purpose. But... Wait, are you telling me that nobody would have walked in here and just closed the door behind them? The person operating all of this did not want us to see it. And if they're that cautious of us... What now? Clues to the mastermind. Okay. Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're thinking, Shuichi, but... Hey! Be happier that I survived. I was able to make a spectacular escape from this sealed room. Oh, right. How did Himiko escape when the entrance was blocked by rubble? Was there another door? Of a secret passage? I'm thinking we have to ask her, even though we're running out of time. Um... Himiko? How'd you get out of the hidden room? Because... The hidden door in the library was destroyed. Uh-oh. Uh, um... We were so worried about you. You were trapped in there. Yeah? Yeah? You don't understand how I escaped? Uh, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> I see you don't get it. You don't know how I escape. <laughs> she is an escape artist. Then I shall tell you. I escaped from that sealed room with my magic. I'm worried now. 
All right, guys. Regarding what I said before, that was just a theory about someone dressing up. Is someone dressing up now? The thing is, right? Is I don't think that's actually the case because I thought that she gets like a terrible rash if she dresses up people that are actually real. Um, Himiko, now's not the time for. Uh oh, we won't be in trouble. Uh, Himiko, are you okay? That was a close one. I almost died. Remember. I told you, now's not the time. Then. Got it. I'll tell you. I definitely used my magic, but another thing that helped me escape the sealed room was the girls' bathroom on the first floor of the school building. Huh? The bathroom? Hey, Suichi. You want to go there with me? Oh, shit, yeah? I mean, huh? it's the end of the world. We might as well get something accomplished here. Wait, what? Stop it. I mean, Himiko's cute. I'm not inviting you to go to the bathroom with me. Don't start getting weird thoughts. Oh. Uh. Too late. No. T me have weird thoughts? Guys, no. It wouldn't happen. Uh, no, I know that. The girls' bathroom on the first floor? What does that have to do with the hidden room? There doesn't appear to be any new clues other than the flashback light. What do you mean? That's like the biggest clue You're of all. Right. All right, I'll head to the bathroom. All right, come with me, darling. Let's go. We're probably gonna run out of time in the bathroom. But it looks like it doesn't really matter. It just rewinds you a little bit. Which makes the whole thing pointless. I love pointless. Okay, uh, hello? Mm-mm. Do not. Do not come up the stairs. Do not be sitting in front of me. And don't come into the bathroom. I don't want it. I don't want none of it, please. Hello? Ooh, I'm looking. I'm looking because I don't want none of it. Okay, here we are. What could be in the girls' bathroom? Secrets. I can't go inside. I'm a boy. I don't think it matters at this point. I should ask Kimiko first. What do you mean? Oh, Shuichi, you're way too upstanding. Um, What's going on in this bathroom? Does it have something to do with the hidden room? Hmm. Once you go in, you'll understand. Seeing is believing. Follow me. I guess we can go in since she went in first. Himiko gestured me closer and walked into the girls' bathroom. The girls' bathroom, huh? It's not that scary, Shuichi. You will be fine. Jesus Christ, we've got exosols after us. This is an emergency. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, now's not the time to be thinking about boys' and girls' bathrooms. All right, I'll do it. Oh, my goodness. I repeated several excuses in my mind as I stepped into the girls' bathroom. My goodness, bless. Bless these innocent kids. Ugh. Oh. Oh. It's very nice in here. See, it's just a bathroom. Nothing to be afraid of. Um, what are we doing here, Himiko? Hmm. So it's just like the killing game in Hope's Peak Academy. Huh? What do you mean? Okay. It's just like then, right? The hidden room and the bathroom are connected. Huh? The hidden room and the bathroom? Hey, Suichi. Look where the equipment's placed. No. Caught up on past killing games, that's a typical of a remnant of despair. What you reckon there, darling? What you talking about? There's a closet. What can we look at to make sure we minimize the time wasted? Uh, um. This looks like a normal closet, but I carefully placed my palm on the far wall of the closet. Oh. Aha. This did happen in DR1, didn't it? A hidden passage? <laughs> Talk about reusing things. Isn't it surprising? A hidden pathway deep within the bathroom. Now proceed through. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go. So, you know what? If this goes down there too, I stepped into the false wall and into the hidden passageway. If this goes down here too, and it works, that could be how the mastermind moved back and forth without having to use the keycard to get out, right? Which means the mastermind is probably a lady. Because if someone saw them coming out of the girls' bathroom ever, the cover would be blown. If an exosol jumps through here, I, I swear to goodness, I will not live to tell the tale. Please do not. I'm not even running because I'm too afraid of it. Oh yeah, look. Here we are, eh? Are we going to end up back in here? Oh, sure enough. Uh-oh. Oh, the Monokuma head got busted. Oops. It leads to the hidden room. The girls' bathroom and the hidden room and the libraries are connected. Then... The library isn't the only way to get in and out of the hidden room. So that... That makes me sure that the mastermind is a female. The hidden room had the secret passageway leading out of it. 
And that passageway connects to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. I'm starting to think that I'm right about this. But this passageway... wasn't on Rantaro's survivor perk map. I'm assuming because he was a boy, maybe he couldn't use it? Or I don't know if that's like a thing. The passageway was hidden, even from him. Oh. A hidden passageway that only the mastermind knows about. Well, that too, obviously. But probably didn't want any boys coming out of the girls' bathroom. Hmm. But they probably wouldn't have given it to a lady either. Passageway connected to the girls' bathroom. Oh, that's important. I, I, I can't help but shake. I might be right about this. In in hindsight, it would make sense. But at, at also, we we can't we can't take too much for granted here and just be like, oh well, that's definitely it now because of all the ways they've acted before. That's still not. Think about we could still pull a fast one. Because they always do. All right. Uh, now where do we go? You're right. Once more, I shall reveal the secret behind my escape from the sealed room. Okay. Yes, please do. Hmm. Right after you guys left the room, there was a huge explosion and I got flipped over. When I came to my senses, it looked like this. Uh, um... I'm surprised you weren't hurt. You're right. Since I've been using my magic a lot lately, uh. a magical backlash must have happened and the way out got buried in rubble. Even I, the wise and powerful Himiko, panicked a little bit when I saw I was trapped in here. Hey! What happened after that? I... I banged on the walls and the floor and yelled for help. Calmly and rationally, of course. I'm sure. Hmm. Then I happened to find that hidden pathway and that's how I got out. Okay. Then I ran into Kibo and he told me you were in one of the classrooms on the second floor. So I rushed over there. Hmm. I see. So that's what happened. I understand now. Himiko, you did really good. Hey. What well, was I useful? Yeah, yeah. You found something super important. Huh? Huh? It seems Himiko is still concerned about that. Should we you tell her she was useful? She was. Oh, now what do we do? She's not saying nothing. I'm probably wasting time doing this. Okay, are you okay over here? Oh, we're in trouble. This is the last thing we can talk to. Mother Kuma is lying on the ground, likely due to the explosion. Uh, um... Is it broken? Hi! Oh! <laughs> uh, I'm busted. Oh, it's over. I can't go on. I can't birth monokumas anymore. I wanted to birth more and more and more. Birth monokumas, huh? Hey! Hey, is it true you can make spare monokumas? Yeah. Uh, of course it's true. And that don't, doesn't sound too convincing. <laughs> oh, fine. Since this is the end for me, I guess I'll say it. I have a built-in voice print authentication system. I can't birth monokumas unless the designated person specifically says the word birth. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't remember now. I'll have to go back and look. Did did she say the word? I want to say that they all said it a little bit differently, but I think two people at least said the word birth and it didn't work. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to go back in my footage and look. Designated person? Here. Is that cheating going back to the footage and looking? Oh, no. Uh, it's to ensure that my monokumas are birthed into a welcoming environment, you know. Hey. Wait a minute. This designated person, do you mean the mastermind? Only the Mastermind's voice command will make you create a spare Monokuma? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that hint was on the house, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory to the killing game! Oh, no, ew! Oh, gross. That's hey. sh scary as hell. Hey! It broke. Hmm. Well, at least we know we're getting more no more Monokumas now. Uh, it seems like it's really broken this time. That was an important clue. Mother Kuma creates spare monokumas after receiving the Mastermind's voice command. Very important. I should probably get out of here. If the entrance to the bathroom were blocked by rubble, we'd be completely trapped. Let's go. Um, after it rewinds, because it's gonna. Himiko, let's go. I have a good idea of what's going on here. I think I do too. And hey. I don't like it. Is something wrong? Hey, just tell it to me straight, like a man. Huh? Tell you what? Hmm. The hidden pathway I found. Is it useful? How could you not think it is? Should we just tell her? I want to be useful for my friends. But I can't help much in investigations, can I? I couldn't find the mastermind. <laughs> Are you worried about that? Okay. Himiko, not only were you useful, you may have cracked the case wide open. Oh, she's so happy. I see. Really? If I found such an amazing clue, that's proof I'm no ordinary person. 
<laughs> I'm terrified of my own magical power. <laughs> she's feeling bad about it. Oh, well, she's still really cute. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go, but I think we're in trouble. Because time is going to pass now. Yeah, sorry about that. We'll, we'll just... Yeah, sorry. Can I skip this? I don't know if I can. Well, let's just watch it while I sip a, a little sip. Oh, that's right. I'm sipping. I got my coffee right here. You took too long. Be careful, you don't have time to- Yes, Tutorial John, I'm very sorry. Oh my god, I don't like being yelled at by Tutorial John. Ooh. Oh, so oh, oh, duty caca. We're all the way back here? Okay, I'm sorry. We're, we're gonna speed run this. <laughs> oh, whoops. We would speed run it if I- I just wasted time clicking on that like three times. That's amazing. Um. ba da 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 do be do Okay, let's- okay, so while I'm doing this, let's think about what we know. It's- it's hard to do the, well, I should have noticed it from before, because you never know what you're looking for, right, when you start these games. But now I'm really leaning towards a certain person who can dress up as other people. Um... Here's the thing, though. I know that they did specifically say that they can't dress up as certain people that are alive because of a problem they have. If that's the case, and it was a whole Kaede thing, how did she how did she manage to do it without getting uh, spotted in that way? That's what I don't know. And if I'm right about all this, does that mean we sentenced actual Kaede to death and and okay. she didn't actually do any? I can't even think about that right now. That'll make me absolutely ill. Holy crap! Like I don't even know. I, oh, I, oh. No, I don't even want to think about that. Oh, I'm running now because I know nothing's going to happen. Um, the dude. There, I, we have all the clues and they're all starting to line up, but I still don't want to like be 100% like, oh, that's it. Until I know for certain. I wonder what else we're going to find, though, in, in regards to that yeah. is the thing. All right, we're just going, I'm sorry, we have to, can't believe we went this far back. I feel like we didn't go this far back last time, but maybe they're punishing me because I did it again. <laughs> because I just want to talk to everyone and look at everything. I'm so stupid. I don't want to miss anything. All right. We got to talk to her once, and You're then right. I think we got to talk okay. to Mother hmm. Kuma once. Uh. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right, of course. Hey. Oh, guys, if it is her, it would make kind of sense, wouldn't it? That she's been under our nose as, like, someone kind and caring the entire time. But also, in a way, that she was kind of pushing people towards certain things because she was being so nice. Ooh, I don't like that, if that's the case. Again, this is not 100%. This is just me theorizing. Hey! I don't know. Here. This is the thing here. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my last recording and see if she said anything or not. I just hey. don't know. Hmm. Okay. Now I think we have to talk to her once more to go to the next um. area. Hey. Oh wait, no we don't. It actually automatically talks, so we should be good. <laughs> I don't okay. want it to be too crazy. <laughs> I see. <laughs> She's so happy. Right, okay. Let's get out of here. That passageway was a vital clue in that it led us here. There's nothing to check here. Wait, what? Well, how are we gonna get out? Wait, am I- am I stupid? You have to go through the hidden passageway to get out of the room. Well, you're making me waste time! I just clicked it! The door! Wait! Hello? Wait, am I dumb? Before you say anything, the answer is yes. Um, how do I read back transcript? F2. Didn't they say we have to get out of here? Rebel blocks the way into the library. You have to go through the hidden passageway to get out of the room. The passageway was a vital clue. There's nothing to check here. I'm not trying to check it. I'm trying to leave. Oh, I guess maybe we just have to leave automatically? Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. You see, I didn't even think about that. I thought we'd just have to click it to get out. Well, shite. Wasting time. How many things did I click on there? Five million. Okay, we're coming back through the second time. Something could crash through here, and I don't want to even hear about it if it does. I'm running, though. Because I've wasted way too much time. 
Unbelievable. Only I could fuck this up so bad. <laughs> I'm the worst detective ever. Right, right. So where are we fucking going now, then? Alright, Himiko, let's get out of here. <sighs> if we've come this far, we're safe. Now that I feel safe, I'm a little over it. Then... Okay, I'll step outside. Oh, the minute we step outside, it's probably gonna be something crash, boom, bang. Blushing, I left the girl's bathroom as fast as I could. I don't see why you have to- the boy's bathroom is literally the same. Oh, hello, Maki, I wasn't in the girl's bathroom doing anything weird. At that moment. Huh? Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Uh, it was nothing. <sighs> what were you doing? Why are we even in the girl's bathroom? Maki! Maki, it's not what it looks like, I'm just- Shut up. Do you want to die? No, listen, there's a reason. Oh boy. Maki wouldn't think that of us, would you? Maki? Oh god, Himiko, get out. <laughs> Don't do that when I'm doing my business. I can't relieve myself if you do that. What? Himiko's inside? And you were in there, Shuichi? Uh, okay, um... this is all a huge misunderstanding. Sure, well, I whatever. guess you wouldn't enter the girls' bathroom without a reason. Okay, okay. I'll believe you. Thank you. Thank you. Though it seems like you want to murder me. By the way. Anyway, I found this. Aw, oh, there he is. Look at him. Ah. Oh. Rantaro's picture. Thank you. I took the photograph from her and inspected it closely. Looking from it right there, I don't know if we're going to see anything, but let's take a look again. It looks normal ish. Just as I thought. I sighed to myself looking over the picture. Everything was beginning to connect in my mind. So it looks like... Hmm... I can't tell. Well, I mean, we can't see any blood from here. I finally saw through all of the lies. What are we supposed to be looking at, though? Am I missing something big, Shuichi? I mean, I get what we were looking for. But it, yeah, I think he's, he's obviously mentioning the fact that there's no blood on the monopad in this picture. So, the final picture of Rantaro. Who thought that we would be using this again at the end of all things? Alright. With this, I can fight. I can fight the mastermind behind this killing game. And I believe I can end it up. Boy, I'm gonna have to do a lot of thinking hey. before I go in this one. You look like you just realized something. Well... But what do you want to do now? It's almost dawn. This is bad. We don't even know the Mastermind's identity or where they are. Leave it to me. It's okay. I have a plan. Can you two please go get Samugi? She should be in one of the labs. After that, I'd like everyone to gather in the courtyard. Okay. I'll be waiting for you there. What's that mean? What do you mean? What are you planning on doing? That's... Stop the killing game, of course. Yeah? But we haven't even found the Mastermind, so how... Oh, right already. We can talk about that later. We don't have much time left. Let's hurry and find Samugi. Hmm. Uh, I see. Let's go. Alright, hopefully they'll go get her. I stood and watched Himiko and Maki go off to find Sunugi. Alright! Who was absolutely very sus at this moment. Alright, to the courtyard. But before I stop this killing game, I need to stop the destruction of the Ultimate Academy. How are we gonna do that? I will find Kibo, obviously. Is he outside, hopefully? Let's go find him. I am so scared of what's coming up. I'm scared of being right, and I'm also scared of being wrong. And I'm also scared about the things I'm not really too, too 100% sure about yet, but I'm assuming you can't go into this being 100% sure about everything. Because that would be stupid. When I stepped out into the courtyard, I yelled at the top of my voice. Kibo! Kibo! Monokuma, please stop fighting! We can solve this another way. One that's best for both of you. That's it! Please listen to me. My voice reverberated throughout the courtyard. And after a while... Oh, careful. It's almost dawn, like we agreed. Okay. Have you found what you were looking for? Are you ready to do what must be done, Shuichi? Yeah, I, I guess I guess we're ready. Either way, this is your last chance. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. But messing with this robot is starting to bore me, so... I look at Shuichi just standing in the line of fire, both of them. I guess I'll hear you out. Jesus. So, what is this other way? Let's do it. You can tell him Shuichi's gonna go for it. A class trial. Yep. We're all gonna do a class trial one last time. Okay. A class, class trial? Oh. Let's do it. Was he gonna agree to it? Surely. 
That's... What do you mean? Are you trying to continue the killing game? Why, you... This is no time to mess around. I thought you were gonna end it. No. I'm not messing around. That's wrong! This class trial will end the killing game. Huh? A class trial to end the killing game? As Kibo spoke, I saw Maki running over from the school building. Oh, they found Samugi, okay. What are you talking hey, about? Hey, what do you mean we're gonna do a class trial? You. Are you serious? It can't be! That's how you're gonna end the killing game? Okay. Everyone's here. Now let me say this. We need to stop fighting and have one more class trial. That's it! If we reveal the whole truth there, we can end the killing game. What are you saying? Uh, the killing game will end when the truth is exposed. Why would you say such a thing? That's... Th by the end of the class trial, that will be clear. Monokuma, you're the one who calls these class trials. All right. But not this time. This time we choose to call a class trial. One to end them all. You're really... Uh, but why do we need to hold a class trial when no one's been killed? Well, it's Well, fine. that's what I'd like to say, but I get it. What? What? Cuz! My little shootout with this rundown robot hasn't been fun for a while now. <laughs> and I think it's pretty interesting that you guys are on board with holding a class trial. <laughs> In fact, I welcome your initiative. This turn of events will make things very interesting. So even in these circumstances, you take the opportunity to make things interesting. Yeah, we know why, though. That means the killing game must be- And another- Uh, however, if we're gonna hold a class trial, I'm gonna hold you guys responsible. Huh? Responsible? Cuz! It would be bad if we held a class trial that didn't reach a satisfying conclusion. In other words- In other words, if the trial doesn't go your way and ends up without the truth being exposed, tell you the truth. then you all will be held responsible for staging such a disappointing class trial. Uh Okay. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt your resolve at all. But are the others okay with it too? The responsibility will be shared by all of you. What was that? The responsibility will be shared. But we've been ready. That's true. I'll trust you, but if you screw it up, <laughs> I'll kill you before Monokuma can. Okay. Yeah, I believe you. I'm You're lucky. Right. You're right. There's no point in freaking out now. Hmm. I have friends I can trust. There's nothing to be scared of. <sighs> Kibo? He doesn't seem to be on board. Um, Kibo? Yeah, yeah! Uh, also, if we're gonna do this class trial, you gotta take off all that fancy sci-fi gear. I guess, to the <laughs> just for protection, right? We can't risk you going berserk if the outcome isn't in your favor. I see. Take off this gear? If I remove these armaments now, I will lose my chance to destroy the academy. This is the last chance. The last chance to not let Monokuma win. Is it really all right? Um, Kibo, please believe me. I don't want Monokuma to win. We're going to win. Our hope is going to end the game of despair. But do you really think that ending awaits us? It sounds too good to be true, honestly. I know. Okay. I know it does, and it, it, he's, he's not wrong. Yes, I do. That ending is hope for us. And we can't give up on hope. Mm. Um, Kibo, let's trust Shuichi here. Mm-mm, you know what I'm saying about her? She's always kind of moving things in a certain favor. Hey. You don't want to die either, right? Right. But so is everyone else. We're all friends who can believe in each other, aren't we? Kibo? I understand. Very well. I will remove my armaments. Let's hold the class trial. Thank you. Thank you, Kibo. <laughs> <laughs> then it's decided. All right. That's right, our class trial. That's it! Our final battle. Our hope will defeat your despair. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's planning something. Why? Why are you laughing? Gross. Is he that confident he'll win? It's fine. It, it'll be okay. He's probably just bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> Who can say? Well, if we're gonna do this class trial, we should hurry up and head to the trial grounds. Oh! However, I will have the monocub strip that robot of his gear. Yeah. I know. You guys! You better be nice to him. Everyone else, please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment and head to the trial grounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on ahead and begin preparing monocumps. You can take it from here. Don't be mean to him. Do it carefully now. So... All right, then we're going to take all the gear off the robot. Let's do this. I'll finish it in seconds because I work like I eat, fast and sloppy. Hmm. You shouldn't be proud of being sloppy. Everyone! I'll meet you guys there. Oh, I hope he's going to be okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Kibo, please come back to me. 
Kiba walked back towards the lab with the exosols. Then... We should go too. It's time. Don't tell me. I can't believe we're having another class trial. Why? I didn't think Monokuma would accept so easily. That was too easy. I can't help but feel a little strange. It's from that one thing! He probably agreed to it to stop Kibo from destroying the academy. Mmm. I am so sus right now. Still, it was almost too easy. Perhaps Monokuma simply expected it. But it was still much easier than I imagined it would be. No sense worrying about it now. We've come this far, we just have to do it. To end the killing game, we have to follow his rules one last time. And win this class trial. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, the timer's gone. So can we talk to everybody one last time? But I wonder if Kibo's okay. I hope they don't do anything weird while they're disarming him. No. I'm sure they won't. If anything happened to Kibo right now, it wouldn't be a fair trial that Monokuma insists on. I see. Oh, I see. Then it's okay. The four of us and Kibo. Yeah. By combining the marks of our friendship, we can overcome this final class trial. Uh, I hope you're right. I also hope you're not so. Never ever. We're having another class trial. But but this will be the final one, right? Okay. Yes, that's right. This will be the final trial. So we can do it, right? I'm worried. Maki? What is it? Maybe he accepted because he couldn't handle Kibo's destruction anymore. Well, I don't think that's the reason. That's right. Even Kibo said it himself. He'd only be able to withstand the Exocell's attack until dawn. What are you trying to do? Then pull? why did Monokuma agree to this so easily? No. He's got something up his sleeve for sure, and I'm worried. I can't say for sure, but we can't be distracted by that. That's true. That's true. No matter what he's plotting. Hey. We're ready to end the killing game, right? That's it! Yes. With this class trial. Let's go. Do I know the way to go? No, I'm because I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to set it up so that we're right in front of it, hopefully, so that we can start at a good place. Because, okay, so people did tell me that the trial is long. And they also warned me to be very careful about saving in the middle of this trial, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to try to find enough time to, like, record at least to the end remission. And then and possibly split it up accordingly there. So it might be a little bit janky. If it is, I'm very sorry. All right! The next time we come out of the trial grounds, it'll be all over, right? Mm. We can win, right? Okay. Of course. It's okay. It'll be okay. This class trial should be much easier than the others. What? Huh. Why? Because. Up till now, we had to find the culprits among the people in our group during the class trial. That's why we couldn't work together even if we wanted to. But this time it's different. I see. Oh, since there isn't a culprit among us, we can work together without any doubts. Ah. We're gonna work together this time. I already feel more at ease. I hope so. Ah. I'm worried. This is too convenient. But I wish it had happened sooner. At the beginning, there were 16 of us. But now there's only four of us standing here, plus Kivo is coming later. Well... We're about to head to the last battle. Why are you so depressed? Sorry. Sorry. You're right. Hmm. Oh, Kibo, you all right? Everyone! Thank you for waiting. Kibo! That was fast. You all right? His weapons have been removed. I suppose we don't have to worry about him attacking. Kibo, you okay? What? Are you disappointed? Did you prefer your sci-fi gear after all? Well... Uh, no, it's not that. Everyone! I'm just very sorry. Kibo bowed at the waist to us. <sighs> I acted recklessly and put you all in serious danger. Everyone! I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. Uh, what? What's wrong? You're totally different from before when you were in battle mode. Um... Shuichi, you told me earlier not to give up hope. Uh, okay. That's right. I... I finally realized that you were right... His little Ahoge is back. Did they fix him? Fix. I'm using that in weird terms. Did they put... Did they do something to him? Did they put the morals back in so he would be different? Uh-oh. My inner voice told me. Look, it's hmm. back on his head. Your inner voice? I thought you said you couldn't hear it anymore. Well, I had the Mono Cubs repair me in addition to removing my battle gear. And now, for some reason, I can hear my inner voice again. So he can hear it again after the repairs. But it looks like his hair looks like an antenna. Does that mean it just wasn't decoration? And now that I think about it, what is his inner voice exactly? 
What is he here? Uh oh. <gasps> oh no. I was wrong to try to destroy everything just to avoid losing to despair. Even if I had followed through, there would be no hope or future left afterward. In which case, my actions would have merely resulted in a different despair altogether. Uh-oh. I do not expect you to forgive me. What I did was foolish. Please. But will you allow me to fight alongside you? I want to help you find the truth. Please. I'm... Of course, Kibo. That's what I've wanted from the start. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to do this. <laughs> so, you'll allow me? Why is she mad? <laughs> oh, you seem angry, Smoogie. Would you prefer I not help? Well, I'm not mad. I'm just holding myself back. When someone says please that strongly, I always want to respond with, but I refuse. But I can read the mood here, so I'm holding back. Uh, well, of course. It's fine. I'm okay now. Of course you can fight with us, Kiva. What? Hmm. That's a slip that we haven't seen Sumugi do before. It's a big while between living things and objects, but you're our friend, Kibo. Everyone! Thank you. Oh, and by the way, Maki, I've been meaning to ask you, but... What is that vacuum cleaner you're carrying? I see. It's a bug vac. I think Kokichi designed it and had me make it. I see. Oh, yes, Gonta had mentioned something about tiny bugs before. Okay. I thought it might be a clue to something. But we can't seem to catch any bugs with it. It doesn't seem like there are any. So, it really was Gonta's imagination after all? No. Wait, it might be too soon to determine that. Can we wait until I've examined it with my eyes at least? Your eyes? With your special eyes? Do we have to talk to you again for that? Um... What do you mean, Kibo? You. What good can your eyes do? It's not like you've got good eyesight, right? Yeah. That was true until I installed my zoom function. Huh? Your zoom function? Yes. It was in my lab next to the jetpack and rocket launcher. Thanks to that zoom function, my vision has increased a hundredfold. Huh? A hundred? What did you say? That's a power-up that goes way past your default settings. But... This is the true talent of the ultimate robot. Because I'm a robot, I can evolve in ways that are simply not possible for a human. I've finally accepted that. There are noticeable differences between us, but they're nothing for me to be ashamed of. I also... Because with my talent, it's possible that I can save you all. Kibo, he's so sweet. If anything happens to him, I swear to fuck. Kibo took the bug back from Maki and... Leave it to me. It's worth a shot. At maximum zoom, my vision is on par with that of a microscope. Maki, I'll borrow this bug back for a moment. He stared at it intensely. Okay. Oh, look at it. I see it. I'll print out this memory. Oh, look at it. <gasps> oh my gosh, of course. It's a tiny... It's a tiny Monokuma. What if they're like little... Little microphones? Isn't that what they look like? There. Just as before, Kibo printed a picture from right out of his mouth. He took it from his lips and handed it to me. Huh? Oh, it is. It's little camera. So they were being watched everywhere. Is this Monokuma? Hey. Are these the small bugs Gonta was talking about? Yes. A human's eyes would not be able to see things that exist at a nanoscopic level. <laughs> For Gonta to have noticed them, his vision really was superhuman. Hey. Hey. What are these things holding? Are they holding cameras? Well then. Why don't we ask them? Huh? We can talk to this. Leave it to me. Yes, I've already installed an augmented hearing function. What was that? I, I guess anything's possible. Oh, look at all. Oh, Keep us so cute. Start talking now, or I'll squish you one by one. Uh oh. Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. I'll tell him. Do you accept these terms? Kibo asked in a way that made it clear it was not up for negotiation. Oh, what are you gonna do? They call themselves Nanokumas. Apparently, they're members of the Monocubs. Okay. What? This little thing? Looks like. And there were actually six Monocubs? Uh-oh. Not quite. These don't exist as individuals, but rather as a hive mind. Yeah, if, if there is like, if they're cameraing everywhere, there must be hundreds of them. They travel through the air in a swarm, covering every square inch of this campus. So it's not just one. It's a whole swarm of monocups? If they're that small, they could have been in my nose or mouth. Ew. And never know. Gross. I don't like the thought of that. Me neither. And their function is to record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. 
Hmm. What? Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. Damn, it's tiny though. What kind of resolution they get on those things? Mother Kuma receives the footage and parses it before sending it off to Monokuma. Wait, but Mother Kuma's broken. Does it mean it's not working now? You mean like a security camera? Oh, yep. They're so small that they can't be seen with the naked eye. They must be the security cameras. The sixth mono cub. Oh my goodness me. So there were security cameras after all. Hey. And they'd be recording the footage wirelessly. Kokichi was correct to use the electro bomb. That punk. When he used it, the Nanokumas weren't able to send any footage back. You're right. Yes, in that case, I doubt Monokuma knew the real culprit. Uh, well, the more I learn, the more I wish that Kokichi just worked with us normally. But that's impossible. No matter how many times he reincarnates, he's a liar down to his soul. I'm not so sure about that anymore. I never would have imagined that the six Monokub would be security cameras. That's how Monokuma was able to keep watch of the entire academy. He's toying with us. He's not just confident. He's sure he's going to win. I know that must be what he's thinking. Oh yeah. At least we know that the important detail now. I'm glad you told us before the class trial. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Kibo. By the way. You're welcome, but we should get going now. That's true. Yeah. We don't know what Monokuma will do if we show up late. That's fine. You're right. Let's start heading to the trial grounds. We're here. Okay. Okay. I know what they mean, but... So basically, we're going to have to do all that, guys. In the next one. Will you get an extra long episode today? I might need some time to work out how I'm going to do this. And, and like I said, if this, if this trial is four hours or more, I'm going to have to set aside some time to try to get it all done. Because I really don't want spoilers at this point. Although most of you have been really good about spoilers. Um, I'll do my best. Oh, this is it, you guys. I think this is it. Hold my hand, because I'm going to need you guys with me. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And I hope to see you in the next one. Toodaloo.